Fighting out of the red corner, sitting six feet two inches tall, hailing from Madison by way of Memphis, Tennessee. He represents perfect moves. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Halton. guy is definitely going to make it to the UFC. Um, he's definitely a good candidate. He works hard. Uh, to see a fresh face and somebody doing it themselves, it's it's inspiring to see. You got to check this guy out. The guy on top of the game. He is a well-rounded fighter, dynamite fighter. All I hear about is him just beating people down. So it's like, that's the one you want to watch. You want a good show. I think it's going to be, it might be a short one, but it's going to be a good one. <laughs> Any, anything to see that guy fight and get in a ring, electric the whole time. You, you never are bored. You're always on that you receiver. I'm looking forward to, for his fight uh, April 22nd. Uh, I think he's going to showcase some skills. It's worth going to check out just to see it. So if you're just interested in MMA, this is the type of dude to go watch because he's a guy on the rise. Even though his uh, his opponent is a seasoned boxer, I just think that Alton has the power. One punch can change anything. And I think Alton possessed that. I think he's gonna land that overhand right, that straight right. And I think he, I think his opponent's gonna go night night. Alton, you've been my brother since you joined Purple Wolves. We've helped each other grow. We fought together, and I've had 100% confidence in you the entire time. And that's not changing. You're gonna destroy this guy on April 22nd. It's going down. The train's not gonna stop. It's Alton all day. Our third amateur title fight was the best of the evening as it went into the third round before the towel was thrown in from Mike Adams' corner. He took a lot of punishment, but Adams is going to sustain his first loss of his career. What a fight. Let's go up to Ken in the ring. Oh, uh,